was very young when, when the neighborhood started to change. Because you have these college kids moving in, but like, you know, I see them walking around, they got their hipster gear on and stuff. Definitely I think there's a lot less crime, but I mean, and that, that's obviously a good thing, but there are, I, I mean, not, not that crime brings anything good, but it did make JP feel kind of like a more tough place and give it a little bit more of a, like an attitude. Arrogant people, rude people, like I've been in situations where I've been called a nigger and I was like, you're being racist and I've hit them. When you get to middle age or something, you reach a plateau and then you don't make any more progress, you know? I'm, I'm petrified of that. So we went to the protests in New York, the, the, the first one against the war, where it was like millions of people. That was hot. That was great. I mean, it was a changing experience for me in my life. And my brothers were like on top of the barricades, like leading the charge. You know, I've been on my father's shoulders as like a three-year-old boy at protests and you know, boycotts or whatever, um, and I haven't really seen it make any difference. It seems like the place we're in now is worse than it's ever been. <laughs> I, I think that um, a draft would actually do the country good um, because it would force people, rich people whose, whose kids wouldn't need to join the military, who, who don't need they to join the military, it. it would force them to realize that what the cost of the war is. If, it was, if I was dying for my country in a situation where I would go in to help people, like maybe if, if, if under Clinton he had sent me to Kosovo or something, I would have done that, but not to Iraq. He wrote, on his, um, he wrote on his form that, that they <laughs> in a rainbow crown, he wrote, I'm gay, ho 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 chi man, Vietnam is gonna win! My father has never ever at any point given up on me, and that, that I don't know, that touches me, that means something to me. Um, yeah, so I love my father. I love my family because I've shared so much time with them and they've taught me so much. Uh, they are very much who I am, in that you, you learn from who you, who you grew up around, and that I also love I love my friends. I love everyone. I love everything. <laughs> Trains, highways, Walt Whitman, uh, Allen Ginsberg. Bigger. I just call America bigger. It's like what America is all about to me. There's a lot of one words that can describe America, but to me, the best one, I don't know, would definitely be hypocrisy. Because nothing stands out more in my mind than that. Can I say one more thing? For the word, hip hop. Oh, uh, right? Nice. I think that is a, right. one nice. word that could really, really, I mean, jazz, oh. sure, too, but hip hop. That, that is jazz, really that is, too. Ha, that is, that's what I'm, yeah, that's what, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. And it is so diverse. It's See, so I'm hypocrisy, searching for an answer. I'm the opposition to all of this nationalist propaganda. I'm the reason for the cointel pro slander. I'm the young lords, the Mau Maus, and the Black Panthers. I'm necessary to combat the evil.